a coming together of many creeds of mine, credo we say in Italian, beliefs as a, an artist. The Stradivarius is the, the jewel in the crown of the Orientium's historical instrument collection. It's a piccolo violin by Stradivari, um, built in the year 1660, which is 25 years before Bach was even born, so it lived through the making of all Brandenburg concertos. It's a slightly smaller violin, and it's tuned a third higher, and we're going to hear it in Bach's first Brandenburg concerto, which has a big solo part. I'm very pleased that some of our instruments are actually working instruments. They're not just museum pieces that people can go and look at. Sometimes they come out of their cases and they get played. And that's what musical instruments are for in the end, aren't they? It's very interesting. This concerto is very rarely performed. Um, I have done it once before, which I think is actually rare. Um, mostly home plays, they haven't played this piece. Um, but I think it's very beautiful, it's extremely different from Joseph Haydn's concerto. In recent discoveries by musicologists, they've discovered that all of the composers Mozart copied, Michael Haydn was the one who he copied most. So it must be a very important composer to Mozart, and I think if he's relevant to Mozart, he needs to be relevant to us as well. It starts with a slow movement, which is almost unheard of. No other horn concerto that I can think of off the top of my head starts with a slow movement. It's extremely lyrical. Um, whereas the Joseph Haydn trio starts with a very fast allegro in two, and it's very triadic and the, the opposite of lyrical, I have to say. That is my first creed about this concert, to take out even more the name of Michael Haydn. Second creed is uh, to bring the Manchester legacy to the people of Manchester, a very, very great tradition of music of art, of culture, and in this city many, many important events happened. For example, the death of Maria Malibran, perhaps the greatest opera singer of the 19th century. She died after performance in this cathedral at the age of 28. She was a composer, and we are delighted to remember her with some pieces that she wrote, along with some pieces that she sang, and some pieces that were dedicated to her by composers such as Mendelssohn. between these two pieces. Some parts uh, from the aria really are identical to the main themes um, in the violin concerto. The um, soprano sings it's in the major key and, and then the concerto of course is in the minor in the beginning and auto passionata and piano and there's this quiet restlessness, so you never know if, if Mendelssohn was so deeply affected by Maria Malibran's death. Concert in the very building in which Mali Brown gave her last concert. 
and where the funeral took place. This very, very beloved piece perhaps bears some remembrance of her because it was written after her death and in a way it connects to the aria in Felice he wrote to her. So we hint you this possible connection and we'll leave for you the rest. Hope you enjoy.